Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to applique your Dresden block onto your background fabric. So you can use any size fabric, background fabric you want. You can make it scrappy and do four quadrants, two quadrants, or just one big piece like I have here. Um, but applique is super fun. I use it in a lot of my patterns and I'm excited to show you how to applique your Dresden block on. So let's get started. Okay, so we have all 20 of our blades pointy and ironed and ready to go. So in case you missed those previous videos, I will link them below, but I show you every step of the way from cutting to turning them inside out and ironing them down. So now we are ready to put them into a circle and then applique them onto our background piece. So I like to chain piece this process as well. And since I'm going for a scrappy look, I'm just going to randomly pair blades together. So I'm gonna set them aside, I'm gonna grab two. So you're gonna put them right sides together. And you're gonna sew a quarter inch all the way down. And then you're going to line the points up at the bottom. And then I just like to continue on with different combinations. Okay, now that we've paired them up, we're just going to snip them. Now we are gonna put them in pairs of four.
now that we have our groups of four, continue on doing the same thing with groups of oops, eight. You're going to want to reserve one group of four um, to the side and make two groups of eight. Now sew your eights together. And add on your four. All right, now to close up your circle, Take both ends and just fold them right sides together and do the same thing. All right, now we have our Dresden block all sewn together. And let me take you to the ironing board and show you how to press it. All right, so now that you've got your blade all completed, we're gonna go ahead and turn it over. And I like to press all of the seams in one direction. So you can go whichever direction you want, but slightly pull it tight as you go, being careful not to make the fabrics shift, just pressing as you go. And I rotate it, slightly pull it away from each other, and the last little bit, do the same thing. Okay, now I'm just gonna flip it over, give it a nice press on the outside. And there we go. Let's pin it to our background piece. Okay, so the easiest way to find the center of your background piece if you're using one big piece of fabric is to fold it, finger press, and then you're going to fold it the opposite direction. And finger press, and that'll give you your center. Right there. So then I take my Dresden blade And I just kind of eyeball where it looks best. Now I'm going to pin it. I like to just do a couple of pins. Make sure it's nice and flat. and it's ready to be appliqued on. Let me take you to my sewing machine. Okay, now we're ready to applique our Dresden onto our background piece. I like to just start at the corner of the top of the blade. I lower my stitch length. Take a couple stitches back. And I just stay as close to the edge as possible, rotate it, and go down the other side. 
and just continue doing that all the way around, staying as close as you can to that edge. And I'll meet you back at the starting point. Okay, we're on our last little edge. Go ahead and take a few steps back. And now we are ready to do the middle. So go ahead and start wherever you prefer. It's gonna be the same exact thing. Set your needle down, take a couple stitches and pivot, staying as close to the edge as you can. If you need to lower your stitch length even more, I'd recommend doing so. And then we're just gonna continue around the whole inside circle. All right, we're nearing the end. We're gonna finish it off just as we did before. And we are done. Not too bad, huh? So you can go ahead, take your pins out, give it one final press but I will show you the final result. All right, so here we are, the finished Dresden blade. That wasn't bad at all, was it? I think they're so lovely. I think they add such a vintage charm, but with Melanie's way of finishing the center, a bit of a modern flair. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and let me know what other videos you want to see. I'm happy to chat in the comments or in my inbox. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching.